getting a, a little bit further along, um, before I, we get to talking about uh, the great, hugely successful seminar that you were able to put on, when we got <laughs> together for a cup of coffee, one of the things that I was highly impressed by was when we were talking about um, dreams versus your burden. I was... <laughs> <laughs> I think <laughs> Rob, Rob, you've heard this before. Yeah, right. <laughs> I was like, I was like, yo, this is amazing, right here. I was like, I, we, we definitely got to talk about this. So, yeah. you know, for the people at home you know, who, who don't know what you know your dream versus your burden is, yeah, share with the people what that means. Okay, so uh, that's 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 pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so basically. Uh, you're often told, you know, dream big, mm -hmm. you know, uh, pursue your dreams, you know, uh, achieve your dreams or, or, or catch your dreams or, or dream, 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 dream. You know, dream is in your face everywhere. You know, it's, 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 it's often provided, you know, for motivational purposes, you know, to create the, the aspiration uh, again. Uh, but the problem with the dream is that it does not inspire. Therefore, the aspiration oftentimes dies. How do we know? Dreams are influenced by popularity. So a dream happens through a persuasive influence of popularity. What am I saying? When you were in kindergarten, there was a police officer that came to your class Maybe they, they haven't done this after the 80s, but they did it when I was in kindergarten in the 70s. And he was called Officer Friendly. And he used to give, these, give us these little felt badges to every kindergarten class. So when the police officer came to your school at five years old and you saw him, the one thing in life that you wanted to do was be a police officer. And then after that, you saw the police officer. Now your dream in life was to be a police officer. Here's the problem with dreams. They change, and they change with the newest influence of popularity. The officer, Officer Friendly, was an influence of popularity. So then, after that, uh, I'll give you my own story. I saw Lynn Swan mm -hmm. play for the Pittsburgh Steelers, number 88. And then it went from being a police officer to now wanting to be a wide receiver in the NFL. And everything that I did from that point on was to be a wide receiver in the NFL because of how graceful and how incredibly, you know, Beautiful Lynn Swan played, you know, so I wanted to be Lynn Swan or to be a wide receiver in the NFL. I wanted to be a football player. And then from there, <clears throat> I had this gift to, to, to draw, uh, and my, I could draw really well. So my mother used to say, you know, uh, he's going to be an architect. Marlon's going to be an architect someday. And because my mother said I'm going to be an architect someday, when people asked me what I wanted to be, you know what I said? I'm going to be an architect. Mm -hmm. You know, and so now it changes with every influence of popularity. The bur versus the burden. We're not managing according to dreams. You don't achieve according to dreams. You achieve according to burdens. Why? The burden is according to the design by which you were created for. There is an opportunity that existed prior to your existence which is why you exist. And there is a burden in your heart that weighs heavy on your shoulder to solve or to create according to this particular burden as it relates to answering that opportunity. So Anthony, you are a solution. I am a solution. Rob is a solution. You watching, you are a solution. That's what you are. When people ask who you are, it's not your name, it's not what you do, it's not what you believe spiritually. It's you are a solution specifically given to solve a particular problem based on a design by which you were created. And so, you know, uh, uh, there is a burden that rests on your shoulders. And this thing keeps you up at night. This is the thing that you think about. Your dream doesn't keep you up at night. Your dream causes you to, 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 uh, to be distracted during the day. So the burden keeps you up at night, but the dream is distracting. Not only that, but the dream fades and the burden remains. The one thing that happens with a burden is that it continues to press and press and press to where it frustrates you into creating a solution. So now, because you are the created, you reproduce after that and you now continue to create through the burden. You don't create through dream. Dream, you're, you're inundated with pursuit. And pursuit denotes 
it's eluding you mm -hmm. or it's running from you or it's always away. So when they say, oh, you know, catch your dreams or I've, I'm living my dreams, that is absolutely impossible. And so, but the burden, however, you can create solutions from your design based on the burden that weighs upon your shoulders to answer that problem. This is where entrepreneurship lives. Mm -hmm. Entrepreneurship lives in the solution of the burden that rests upon your shoulders that you can't shake, that you can't get rid of, that you can't run from, no matter what. Now, you've had this dream to be, do that. I'm sure in your own life, you, you wanted to do this once upon a time. And you wanted to do that once upon a time. Mm -hmm. But there was this one pressing thing that, 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 that you couldn't explain. You didn't know how to answer it. You didn't know how to, how to even go about <laughs> soliciting the folks, you know, to, 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 to articulate what it was. Mm -hmm. But you knew what it was. Uh, unable to verbally articulate it, you knew that it existed. So the burden doesn't change. The burden doesn't die. The dream changes and the dream fades. The dream dies into a new one based on influence of popularity. The burden isn't influential. Uh, the burden is pressing. The burden angers. So, you know, uh, 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 the frustration of the burden ignites you to create. So it's inspirational within itself, whereas you aspire through motivation to achieve through the creation from your design an opportunity that existed prior to you getting here. Mm -hmm. So I hope you were able to understand that. So <laughs> absolutely. So so it's an it, it all starts with an opportunity prior to you. Now you're created for the opportunity, and now you have a burden that seeks to uh, uh, create around solving this particular opportunity. In other words, to bridge gaps somehow, to add value somehow. The dream is about you. Mm -hmm. Dream big. Dream this. Dream that. That's about you. I want that car. I want that house. I want that woman. I want that man. Mm -hmm. It's about you it's a i want that watch i want that this i want that you know it's about acquisition mm -hmm. and hoarding to oneself that's what the dream is that's what it provides it's about you it's selfish in nature well the burden it focuses on everybody everyone else that is affected by the by the gap or by the opportunity that exists that there is no answer for so you know and that's where the seminar came from and we'll, we'll talk yeah. about that but that's the difference between dream <clears throat> and burden